Hey everybody, Star Guy here. As always, thank you so much for tuning in. Very excited to share one of my favorite characters with you today. Just a little bit more on his backstory. He's not my absolute favorite character, but he definitely makes my top three. There's a couple of characters that take precedence before him that I'll be exploring in a later date here. But today we're covering someone that's near and dear, I believe, to a lot of people's hearts. He's very relatable. Everybody's at least heard of the guy, whether you love or hate Star Wars. It's Grand Master Yoda. And specifically the younger version of Grandmaster Yoda that's presented in the New High Republic books that came out about a month or two ago. There's like three new books. I read them all a couple of times already. I love them. I definitely highly recommend each and every one of them. Uh, everyone has their own review, their, their, uh, their own critic, you know. It is what it is, but I think they're amazing new content. They're amazing new areas to explore, new characters, new plot lines. And Yoda's a part of all of them, which is insane to me just thinking about all of the Jedi, all of the people, all of the events, all of the politics, all of the the changes. I mean, Bacta wasn't even around when Yoda was in his early hundreds, and now Bacta is the premier healing solution that's just being invented here in the New High Republic series. So it's crazy. He's he's trained more Jedi than we've ever seen. He's lost more Jedi than we've ever seen. Um, the guy's had a rough life. I mean, when you think about that concept of eternal life, that's basically you know, what we're looking at with Yoda because he's seen centuries and centuries of people come and go and that has to be tough. Uh, but anyways, specifically we're talking about Yoda again about two to three hundred years prior to the events of those prequel films that everybody loves so, so, so much. Let's just take a look. Jog your memory in case you're not with me on that. See you again? What does your heart tell you? Are you sure about this? Trusting our fate to a boy we hardly know? Anakin Skywalker, meet Obi-Wan Kenobi. I sense much fear in you. The boy is dangerous. They all sense it. Why can't you? Quick sidebar here because I really want you to ingrain that image of Yoda in your brain. We're going to compare him to... Uh, older version that should look worse than this Yoda. I didn't really realize until putting this video together how much worse the actual 2000s version looked uh, versus the 1970s version. But uh, keep that image ingrained in your brain. It's scary, I know, but bear with me on it, all right? After the dark side. Fear leads to anger. Anger leads to hate. Hate leads to suffering. <laughs> Yeah, Yoda's always been a little bit on the creepy side, but that Yoda specifically just gives me some weird heebie-jeebie kind of vibes. I don't know about you, but uh, now let's compare him to the events that happened about 30 years after that, where we find Yoda sitting there. You see he's training uh, Luke Skywalker in the caves of Dagobah after exiling himself. I can't. It's too big. Size matters not. Look at me. Just me by my size, do you? Hmm? Hmm. And where you should not. For my ally is the Force. And a powerful ally it is. Life creates it. Makes it grow. I just love that. Ooh. That they did so well with that, honestly. I mean, tell me that this that he doesn't look better than the 2000s version. And I'm sure you know this is the remastered HD Blu-ray kind of version. Maybe I just got a crappy clip of the the new Yoda, but even still, just the movements, it feels it feels bad, you know. And when I think back to 15, 20 years ago when I first saw the Phantom Menace and I first saw those prequel films, it didn't strike me as that. 
Ah, uh, that was just craving more Star Wars content. So I would have give, I would have taken anything they wanted to give me. Is the reality, right? I wasn't going to judge it. I wasn't going to criticize it. I wanted them to keep turning out movies, books, content. I wanted more. I wanted to consume more, and that kind of led me down to the path that I'm here today, where I want to share that uh, knowledge with the rest of the world. But, uh, anyways, let me know what you think. I mean, Yoda. Old prequel, Yoda, 70s, which one creeps you out less? <laughs> Anyways, then we got this guy. This little Grogu, baby Yoda, meme baits, you know. He just dominated headlines all of 2020, 2021. Probably will continue uh, forward. I really hope that they find some way to get him back now that he's out training with Luke. But anyways, we know that Yoda species has a very long lifespan, right? I mean, Grogu is about 50 years old, and he's still like a little man-child. He's a highly developed infant, essentially, in this case. So it's just a little bit hard to tell when Yoda's journey actually started. You know, I guess we'll judge that based on how Grogu matures and when he actually reaches that age. But there is a famous quote that Yoda puts out there that he's been training Jedi for around 800 years. So uh, he says that to Luke, then... He's 900 or so years old then. That means he probably started training Jedi when he's around 100 or so years old. So I imagine that Grogu over the next couple of decades probably uh, levels up a lot, you know, every single 10, 15 years that passes by. Because if he's that, you know, if he's uh, if Yoda was 100 or so, maybe he's some sort of prodigy and he's already training Jedi, that means he would have had to have gone through his Padawan stages, he would have had to pass his Jedi Knight Trials, um, and then he would have actually had to start taking on a, a Padawan learner as well. So pretty quick progression, but I digress. All that to say that I guess I shouldn't have expected a super massive change. Here's some concept art that the Star Wars team put together for us for, for the High Republic. Uh, Yoda is still a master at this time. He's talked about a lot in passing uh, between Jedi Knights and Padawans. He's still very revered in the High Republic. He's still a master. Uh, there's a couple of other masters that are on his level at this point in time. He likes to train on the go. He has, you know, fleets of Padawan that are in, in younglings that he takes around the galaxy. He likes to take more of a hands-on approach to it. There's one scene in particular where all of the Jedi are binding together. There is one particular user of the Force. Uh, a Jedi Master I'll be covering in another video here that has the ability to collectively pull together everybody's abilities and get them on the same page basically so that their timing is on point, nobody's deviating and doing their own thing, uh, acting too early and Yoda is a part of that, you know, he's, he's galaxies away, light years away but Yoda has that power where he can tap in and he can help these Jedi out who are all trying to collectively stop this uh, object that's moving at light speed, hurling towards um, this planet that's going to disintegrate the planet unless these Jedi are able to stop it, or at least slow it down, which is their main goal right now, is to just slow it down and keep it together. So Yoda pulls together that, pulls together in that effort, and it just it goes to show that he's still a very strong, very powerful guy. He has a lot of respect, a lot of authority, and he's definitely revered still in this higher public time of peace. So... I mean, I, as you would expect, right, a lot of these masters, you know, reach the, the the title of master by like 60, 70, 80, maybe 100 plus years old tops. He's still around 600 years old at this time. So I would hope, you know, he, he's a master, he's revered. Um, but anyways, guys, we got another look at him here. The High Republic is supposed to be a gilded age, you know, so they tried to pull together. There's some comments on the Star Wars blog that talks about uh, the golden era Things are definitely at peace, so they tried to give Yoda that look, that aesthetic of the time. You can see he still has his signature cane here as well. He doesn't look super young, but he, he doesn't have the grays, right? He doesn't have the hair growing out of his ears. Uh, that's probably because he's taking care of himself as well. He's not in a cave exiling himself with no mirrors or anything around, or anybody around to care about his personal appearance. And I wish that, I'm sure they'll come up with some others. There's some great fan art out there too, but I'm looking to see the stuff from the, the guys that are actually creating this version of Yoda. So hopefully I get more uh, high res imagery, things like that here in the near future. There was some talk of uh, this version of Yoda appearing in some of the new films and TV series. So we'll wait, we'll see. I mean, what's happening? They're, they're producing all kinds of content, kind of a light speed rate right now. So uh, what do you guys think? You know, what what version of Yoda would you like to see? I mean. I would definitely like to see very young Yoda. I'm talking not Grogu age, but 
you know, those early stages like 150, 175, 200, I think would be the sweet spot for me. I'd definitely like to explore more of that era. Uh, but you let me know what you think. You know, Yoda, uh, you know, very, very unique species. There's only been him. There was Master Yaddle, who was also featured in those prequels, uh, basically the female version of Yoda species. She actually has a terrible backstory that, you know, maybe I can go through if there's interest about that. And then we have Grogu. You know, inside of that, we don't really have a whole lot of input for this guy, the species, or what's going on. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this little bit of a monologue tidbit about Yoda. I love the guy, and I hope to see more of him in the future. We'll see you in the next one.